So, <clears throat> welcome all of you to the channel. So, a little update on my bike. This is this is not the Juice Scrambler. I'm actually on my trusty old mid drive. Nothing to do with the wheel. The wheels are fine. I have another problem with it. So if you're a juice donor, you might want to stick around because what I'm going to say is not pleasant. So this week I encountered a problem with the battery. Basically, on Monday I noticed that it was hard to take out of the bike, but thought nothing of it. it. Wasn't until Tuesday that it was super hard to take out. And I've noticed that my connectors from the battery to the bike. We're melting. Yes, they're melting. And the reason that they were too hard to take out is that they were fusing together because they were melting. So on Tuesday, I contacted Juice Bikes because I'm still under warranty. And I told them about the problem. So before I tell you more, let me tell you about a little history or their history. So when, before I bought my bike, I did some research on the company and their products. So I kind of knew that something like that could happen. But most of the posts that I read were about hyper scorpions and scorpions. So I thought that maybe just maybe it was specific to that model. So I purchased the bike knowing that that could happen. So I gave them a call and the first thing they told me, you're not taking the, the you're not taking the battery correctly. It's like, really? I just told you my connections are melting and it's a known fact that your bikes have a tendency to melt the connectors so they like always to try to blame the customer for their horrible products so it's all no I've been doing that for I want to say six months because that's us that's how, how long I had the battery for. Not the battery, but the entire bike. But the thing is that I didn't ride the bike for like a month and a half because as you remember, mine did not work out of the box. So, that should have been a red flag and I should have just returned the bike. But I thought maybe, just maybe, it's an honest mistake. We'll just try. Yeah, this is turning to be a $2,000 mistake. So they told me to send pictures, and I did. And they said they'll get back to me. 
like always. And on their email it says that it will take up to 14 days to resolve the issue. So, yeah, this is where we are with the juice bike. Now, my only recommendation is that if you do own a juice bike and you used to like me every day to go to work to check on your connectors because I have a feeling that they're melting too and you haven't realized it especially if you never take out the battery they're probably already fused to the bike So comment below if you have problems with your juice bike, any model. Comment below if they have resolved your issue or comment below if they try to resolve your issue and you're back at square one. Also, comment below if you have another bike from another company with similar or worse problems. At this point in time, I just I just want to ride my bike until it runs out of warranty and I probably get another one. So, nice and short. Thank you for watching. Ride safely.